will be forgiven if you thought this was a modern art gallery. This is really not your traditional history museum. Wait, did she say history museum? Yes, she did. This is the brand new Benton County Historical Museum on 2nd Street in downtown Corvallis. This is where local history meets modern architecture and the mix is inspiring. 140,000 artifacts laid out in permanent and rotating exhibits. Artwork, photos, displays, and exhibits are spread out here, which makes them easier to study and learn about. We've all had the experiences of the little, dark, cramped, really chock-a-block full, you know, that kind of cabinet of curiosities idea of, of museums. Uh, and that they early on decided to throw all that out the window and do something totally different here. And the way information is shared with visitors is different here too. Some of our pieces on the wall where they say, did you know, underneath them, they actually open up oh, and have more information great. about the piece directly behind it. A current exhibit here might, at first glance, be a bit of a head-scratcher. Hats and chairs? For each of these hats, the chair, the pairing, takes into account who would have been sitting in that chair or who would have been wearing that hat, the era of construction or creation. So they're all paired appropriately, so you can almost envision a person sitting in that chair wearing that hat. You might have noticed something that looks out of place in the lobby. This is Bruce the Moose. Oregon State University students of a certain era, <clears throat> including me, might remember Bruce the Moose in the old Horner Museum in the basement of Gill Coliseum. John Horner was a professor at OSU who gave his personal collection to the college. He wanted the people of Corvallis to experience the world without leaving Corvallis. The Historical Museum incorporated the Horner Museum artifacts, and Bruce was part of the package. But he wasn't the only animal that came with the deal. What would a museum in Corvallis be without a beaver? Many of the Horner Museum artifacts have their own prominent place here, in the Benton County Room. There are indicators on the floor as to where a river is, where a significant road is, forests, that sort of thing. And then the artifacts are clustered together with big signs that have the, the uh, list of the town names on it, and those are meant to be reminiscent of the pins on our map applications that we use on our phones. One eye-catching display honors Corvallis wildlife photographer William Finley, who employed a unique approach to his craft. The suit that we have is a suit that his wife made for him to wear when he was going out to try to get video of mountain goats. And we actually have video footage of him wearing the suit, crawling around on his hands and knees on a mountainside, getting footage of mountain goats. And we have some of their reactions as well, which is quite fun. You don't necessarily need to be a Benton County resident to get something out of your visit to this museum. Local history, state history, artwork, modern architecture, all this in one place to enhance your next visit to Corvallis. At the Benton County Historical Museum, this is Dave Jones for Destination Oregon.